My name is Chet Donnelly. I'm a complex spine surgeon. Today I'm going to tell you about one of the crazier cervical cases I've seen in the last few years. This patient who has become my friend is a 53-year-old male who works as a baker. He has an underlying condition called neurofibromatosis type 1. He has severe collapse of the cervical spine, worsening deterioration of his spinal cord functions. At 53, he is too young to just do nothing. This paralysis will get worse. At least three other spine surgeons told him no way. He does have legitimate risk during the surgery. Paralysis, stroke, blood clot, death, hardware failure. These are all realistic. In fact, look at his vertebral artery. It's freely floating over the surgical site. Nicking this would cause a stroke instantly. The spinal fluid is also out of place. It's in front of the spinal cord. Nicking this would cause a spinal cord to pop like a balloon and spinal fluid everywhere. These images here represent a side view of the spine. If you're looking at the spine straight on, it's just like looking at this and it shows the amount of compression and deformity this patient is currently experiencing. This severe cervical kyphosis will predictably get worse if nothing's done. So here's what I did. I brought the patient to the hospital several days early and applied something called skeletal traction. Two sharp pins are placed into the skull and this is attached to a frame that has a rope and then weights that's subsequently added to help straighten out some of the tendons, muscles, as well as bones in the spine. The weight is subsequently added and spinal cord checks are performed throughout. After several days of this traction, we proceeded with surgery. It was a 10 hour surgery where through the front of the neck, I removed three of the cervical bones, the C4, the C5, and the C6. This corpectomy allowed me to take the pressure off the spinal cord that was causing the paralysis. Additionally, the corpectomy cage helps me restore alignment and hold this positioning. Even at three months, the patient's still well held in alignment. In addition to the complex work we did on the front of the neck, we also worked on the back of his neck to provide additional stability and deformity correction. This was a fusion from C2 to T5. This is a long surgery and this is a tough surgery. Fortunately, we had no intraoperative complications, no injury to any vessels, no injury to the spinal cord. This patient is now three months out from surgery. He's doing fantastic. And as importantly, I'm now happy to say he's become one of my good friends.